Hello and welcome to Around the Diocese. I'm Father Sight with your local news source for what's happening around our diocese and beyond. This is your April 27th edition featuring Mercy in Action, a dress down day to help fight AVM, and a special anniversary for one parish in the Southern Tier. On this week's Mercy in Action, our calendar provides us with a good tip for encountering God's mercy. This week's Wisdom Wednesday has a wonderful quote from St. Francis de Sales. He says, Have patience with all things, but first of all, with yourself. That's great advice for all of us who are trying to go deeper in our conversion to Christ. After all, this conversion is a lifelong process and requires that we keep coming back to God over and over again so that he can continually transform us. For this to happen, patience with ourselves is essential. Up next, Kelly's Cause. Kelly Gustafson, an alumna of Bishop Grimes, lives with AVM, a rare and operable and life-threatening birth defect. But throughout all of this, I've sort of come to understand that I'm not alone, that there's someone... Recently, she visited local schools in support of a national dress-down day for her cause. By donating $2 to Kelly's Cause, students were allowed to wear casual clothes instead of their normal dress uniforms. Doing so served as an opportunity not only to become more aware of this particular charitable cause, but also to make a contribution to it. On a personal note, when I taught ninth grade religion at Bishop Grimes, Kelly was in my class, and so I'd like to congratulate her on all of the great work that she has done for AVM. To donate, please visit www.kelly.org. Up next, Our Lady of Good Counsel Church in Endicott turned 75. Hundreds turned out on Sunday to help the parish celebrate 75 years of service to the people of the Southern Tier. Around the diocese sat down with Pastor Father Michael Galuppi for a look at what this church has meant to this community. Well, I think it's all very personal to them because this is where, you know, baptized, married, where they've, you know, buried their spouses out of where um, their you know kids and grandkids have grown up and, and this is where they've really encountered the Lord um, in a very particular way for the entire course of their life so uh, there, there's a lot of love here and and you know this sanctuary has changed form at least four times in 75 years but you know the the heart of the parish <laughs> you know which is the encounter with Christ uh, has remained constant and firm, and I think that's, I think that's what those who are our charter members um, identify with most as the, you know, what's most special to them about being here. Congratulations to Father Galuppi and to all of the parishioners at Our Lady of Good Counsel on their 75th anniversary. Up next, diocesan social media specialist Nicole Osivort brings us this week's Media Minute. April is Child Abuse Prevention Month. During this month, we're sharing important facts and statistics on our social media. And in today's Media Minute, we're introducing you to even more resources available on our website. Since 2004, the Catholic Church has made great strides in protecting youth and vulnerable adults. Here in our own diocese, we've trained over 36,000 adults to date, and over 17,000 youth have been trained this year alone. The number of people trained, including clergy, employees, and volunteers, continues to grow each day thanks to the work of our incredible Safe Environment Office. For more resources, including diocesan policies and procedures, and contact information for our Victim Assistance Office, visit sirdio.org and click on the Safe Environment tab. Thank you, Nicole. And finally, Catherine Long, the editor of The Catholic Sun, gives us our special preview of what we will find in this week's edition. Thanks, Father. This week in the Catholic Sun, we highlight priests celebrating milestone anniversaries and celebrate Our Lady of Good Counsel's 75th anniversary. And as always, be sure to visit thecatholicsun.com every day for the latest local, national, and international Catholic news. Thank you, Catherine. At the end of our show, be sure to check out part one of a series that I filmed with Catholic TV on making a pilgrimage through the Holy Door of Mercy at the Cathedral of the Immaculate Conception. Many people have been asking about the Holy Year of Mercy, particularly about the Holy Door, so you don't want to miss this. 
Until next time, I'm Father Sight, and remember, God is doing great things in each of us and all around our diocese. Click here.